what you referred to as uh, my clients and Dr. Ramsey's drug dealings in May of 1986. Is that correct, Dr. Sowers? Yes, it is. Would you characterize your relationship with Dr. Ramsey in May of 1986? He was the head of my department. So you conferred with him about your patients? Yes, sir. Did you ever uh, disagree about treatments? <laughs> Sometimes. How often? Well, not often, now and again. Isn't it true that your relationship with uh, Dr. Ramsey was, in fact, combative? Objection! Overruled. No, no, I wouldn't say that at all. How would you describe your relationship with Dr. Ramsey? Well, I would say that we had differences of opinion sometimes. These differences of opinion ever surface in front of a patient? Never, no. In front of other members of the hospital staff? Well, I'm sure that other members of the staff were aware of our disagreements. Isn't it a fact that Dr. Ramsey has been in the field of neurology much longer than you have? Yes. Nineteen years longer, as a matter of fact? How long had you been in the field when you began to question his ability? Four years, but it was not his ability that I questioned. In April of 1986, didn't you have one of these differences of opinion with Dr. Ramsey about the treatment of a patient named Joseph Hemsdale? Yes. Isn't it true that you were removed from the case? Yes, but... Isn't it true that in May of 1986, when you allegedly discovered what you call this drug scam, that these differences of opinion with Dr. Ramsey were so great that you were actually in danger of being fired by Dr. Ramsey? Objection, Your Honor. No, no, that's not true. That's not true.